In other news tonight, as UVM and Champlain College students return to campus, the city of Burlington is looking to tighten restrictions before the fall semester begins. Mayor Moreau Weinberger and UVM President Suresh Garamella gave updates today. Local 44's Devin Bates now with the latest. While pending city council's approval, outdoor residential gatherings will be limited to 25 people or less, and indoors that'll be 10. Now the city is also looking at making last call at bars 10 p.m. Our police will be prepared uh, to write tickets if, if that is necessary. It is our understanding that the consequence for students uh, hosting such parties and receiving such tickets um, uh, is potentially significant beyond the uh, tickets alone in terms of their sta standing and status with, with the college. UBM President Suresh Garamella said Tuesday that the school's reopening plan is one of the most rigorous and comprehensive in the nation. The comments came a day after the UVM Union of Students called the plan inadequate, saying it poses a danger to the health of students, staff, and the community. Garamella remains confident in the plan, which includes a requirement for pre-arrival tests for the estimated 12,000 students returning to campus. To date, nearly 8,700 tests have been ordered by our students. Over 1,150 tests have been received, the results have been received, and two tested positive, two out of 1,150. Those who tested positive stayed home until they're cleared, so the system is working. Garamella said he's aware of recent complaints from neighbors about off-campus student activity, noting that a community relations team is addressing the situation. He also mentioned other resources for concerned Burlingtonians. This includes having a dedicated section on our Return to Campus website focused on the needs and concerns of neighbors. The site also features information on how neighbors can register complaints, including a streamlined incident reporting form. The complaints come as colleges across the nation grapple with students breaking COVID-19 protocols, and the city's new restrictions look to avoid the risk of community spread. If all goes according to plan, however, the new standards could be short-lived. If virus transmission levels in Burlington remain very low after both the public schools have opened and after we've gotten through this transition period of the colleges reopening and getting into the rhythm, their new testing rhythm and new operating rhythms, uh, we will um, happily reevaluate the necessity of these regulations. Burlington City Council will hold a special meeting on Thursday to vote on these changes in an emergency resolution. In Burlington, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.